Hi everyone and welcome to our roundhouse. So Farmer Kate here in our lambing shed. Now we've been lambing here since the end of February and it has been several months of work. We've all put a lot of effort in but behind me only one of them is left because all of them have had their babies apart from that Hebridean. So we're going to go down, take a look. I'm not totally convinced she's in lamb so we'll, we'll see what we can find out and then we're going to take a look at some of our latest lambs to arrive with us. We've had over 600 sheep give birth here at the farm and around 12 different breeds of sheep. Now the very last one to go is this little Hebridean here. So all of our other Hebrideans lambed quite a few weeks ago now so if she was in lamb we're kind of expecting it to have happened by now or the tuck might have just been kind of late to get to this lady. So what I'm kind of feeling for is to see if she has an udder. So if that kind of milk is starting to be produced for the lamb to be on its way, basically. And there's a little bit of an udder there, but like not a significant amount. And I'm just feeling around her belly and I wouldn't say it's overly swollen. So I'm not overly convinced this one was in lamb. We'll have to see. I bet Roger would know if he was here, he'd be able to tell us straight away. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let her go. Go on, girl. And I'm gonna show you some of the latest lambs we've got here at the Roundhouse. You probably know that the majority of our Herdwick flock lambs outside in the field, and that's where all of them are, apart from this one girl. So she was like the last lamb. And we brought in our Herdwicks, kind of like two or three of them towards the end of lambing, because the lambs were getting quite big. So if they needed any assistance, we were like on hand to help really. So she actually gave birth perfectly fine all by herself, which is what we wanted. We've got a pent up now just for a bit of bonding time with the lamb. And then as soon as we get a spell of good weather, it's going to be out in the field. So hopefully tomorrow, maybe the day after, all of our herd is going to be together, use the lambs, have happy times. Lambing season is a really big part of my time here at the farm. So it's been a really intense few months. We've had a lot of work to do. And like when we are at the end of it, I'm quite pleased that we've kind of got all of our ewes, all of our lambs to a point where we're happy with them for them to go out in the fields, which is what we want. The next group of animals to give birth here at Kenneth Hall Farm will be our boa goats. So that's like really exciting times because I really do like baby goats as well as baby lambs. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hi. Hey Stanley. How are we doing? Good boy. Our boa goats, they're actually going to be kidded any minute now. I'm quite surprised none of them have started, but one animal that's not going to be in kid is Stanley here. So he just gets to live with the ladies, not that he minds. So we're going to be welcoming lots of new kids here at Cannon Hall Farm. And I'm really, really excited because it has been weird, like, because our ewes have stopped giving birth as frequently as we kind of used to. So we're going to have some kids are past with tiny goat's feet which is really really exciting so i hope you'll be able to join us for some more videos involving our goats as they're giving birth and as we're rearing those kids and we really really appreciate you watching these videos and for all your support over the last year or so so from me some very very pregnant goats and a very very naughty stanley we'll see you later bye